The story of Ricky Hill is one like no other. And now his story has been brought to the screen with Dennis Quaid starring in a new film from director Jeff Celentano. It's triumphant and heartfelt. The Washington Times says it's a powerful overcomer story. The Hollywood Reporter calls it a heartwarming tale of perseverance. The Hill premiere, open mic coverage. with Open Mic Perform Pro. Hey, how are you guys Hi. doing? Hello. This is Good, Susan man. How are you? Nice to, nice to meet you. I read the story and I cried my eyes out and it got inside my heart and it never left. And I was obsessed. I've been making movies my whole life uh, as an actor and a filmmaker. And I love all my movies and I care about them 100%. And I'll, I'll work 24-7 to make them great. But this story, after 17 years, you can imagine, I must have loved it because I never gave up. Absolutely love Augusta. I'm shooting my next movie here. It's called Long Way Gone. I'm producing and directing it. It's an amazing story about a singer-songwriter who um, wants to go to Nashville to live his dreams. We're shooting Augusta for Nashville, and then we go to Nashville for a few days to get the exteriors, and then we go to Utah. It's a music movie like Star is Born. It's written by a writer uh, out of Florida that writes, he writes like award-winning novels. He wrote a movie called The Mountain Between Us, if you saw that, with Idris, Idris Elba. He wrote that. That was, that was his book, and this is his next movie. I love what you're wearing. I see the baseball tux you got going Thank on. Thank you. My sister made it for me. She, okay. she makes my fits for all my premieres. She's awesome. It's been two years I've been waiting, and okay. it's, I, I haven't been excited for anything else. I mean, all right. I worked a month on this, and then two years didn't hear much, and no, it's finally out. I'm, I can't show how I'm excited I am. How are you guys doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm glad to see you guys here. Hi. Oh, thanks. Nice this is Rhiannon, you. my wife. Rhiannon actually was the child labor coordinator on the film, so she had to manage all of the underage uh, actors, and so she'll probably have better stories than I will. <laughs> it was a lot of responsibility, but I have three children, so it's pretty easy. Well, so <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I feel like Ray. Sometimes, uh, you know, Dennis's character, yes, as the father, again, we've got three children, but Ray, he's the guy that just, he's, he's trying to, he's trying to get Ricky out there and support Ricky and just, you know, whatever it takes. And I, and I feel like I do that a lot in my life <laughs> right now with Augusta and with, with our crews. So that's my guy. Hey, Joshua. Love the glasses, brother. Oh, thank you so much. I like the S color. Silent. Thank you, brother. I feel great. Okay. I feel just great. I'm glad. I'm. I'm glad it's finished, and I'm glad. It, I'm glad it's going out to the public. It, maybe it will touch a few, few hearts. The little boy that played me was incredible. <laughs> I never seen any, any, a young man act so well in my life, and uh, I watched him so. Um, yeah, I, I like him the very best, to be frankly honest with you. I love the story. It's super inspirational. I'm glad that it was shot here in Augusta, and it was a great story. Oh, I tell you, I, I'm so thankful about Augusta because I'm not just thankful for the name Augusta. I'm thankful for the people here. They were all wonderful. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. I really mean that. Wonderful. I'm so excited that it's finally completed. It's going to be great. The script is phenomenal. Uh, read like a book when I first read it. Um, so now being able to see it all come together is going to be awesome. Okay. And is there a favorite part that you have of the film? I mean, I might be a little biased, but the end. I like the end a lot. Okay. Um, it's just kind of a big triumph story, and it all gets wrapped up neatly in a bow at the end. We're very excited. It's been a little little journey. It's been two years, but okay. it's going to be, I think, a great film. Okay. I think the reception so far with just the trailer has been fantastic. Okay, it's a lot of hard work. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. All right, you have a good day. You have a great day. The film's finally complete. How do you feel about it? I feel great. I mean, it's a great film. It's a, uh, it's really a father and son story, and it's about that struggle of like a dad who wants the best for his son, wants to protect him, and a son who just has a dream. And it's in a baseball wrapper. That's really what the movie is. So it's awesome. Okay. And are there any characters in the film that you feel like you relate to the most? Oh, absolutely. Dennis Quaid, because uh, he's that dad that just is really trying to look out for a son that has some disabilities. I didn't end up with a son with disabilities, but you always want the best for your kids. So um, as that and a father, I can relate to that 100%. Augusta's a great place. Uh, my wife, Marjorie, she grew up outside of Augusta. I came here with the military uh, back in 1988. Uh, did my undergrad at Augusta College, ended up at uh, law school at Georgia State, so we ended up in Atlanta. But uh, Augusta's always a great place. They're 
super movie friendly here, um, letting us use the stadium that the Green Jackets use. I mean, it's classic. Awesome, awesome people in Augusta. You can't play baseball. What if I swing that bat? I ain't crippled no more. I want my dreamer back. All your hopes. I cannot do this alone. Dreams. It's your time, Ricky! Determination and sacrifices have come down to this.